Okay, it's Joe from ESC Bubble, and we are here with Laura Risotto, um, who's representing Latvia, and uh, you've just finished your, your first rehearsal. So how has your experience of the Eurovision Bubble been so far? It's been great. Um, I love the artists that I'm getting to meet, you know, all of the Eurovision artists that are participating this year, oh, and mm -hmm. to meet, you know, the people that are passionate about Eurovision as well has been really fun, and getting to rehearse today was, mm -hmm. was really special too. Yeah, and, and you and I last caught up uh, just before and just after Supernova, and that was, what, four or five weeks ago now, possibly a little bit longer? Yeah, maybe longer, yeah. yeah. What, have, what have you been up to since in, in, pre in preparing for this week? Oh my god, so much. Uh, I mean, of course, they're like reevaluating the staging for everything, coming up with the war would be, mm -hmm. which I feel like today has been revealed already. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm so happy. <laughs> I was thinking about it, I was like, I want to yeah. do something different, not, not too classic, but still sophisticated. So trying to come up with what this should be really, mm -hmm. I went through many possibilities until mm -hmm. figuring out what I really wanted yeah. to do. And yeah, just going to the pre-parties too. I went to mm -hmm. Amsterdam, of course Riga, mm -hmm. Amsterdam as well, and Tel Aviv and Madrid. So mm -hmm. it's been a lot of traveling. Also went back to New York to go to Tribeca Film Festival, a soundtrack I wrote is being featured there, mm -hmm. and to perform at the United Nations there, and I shot a music video in Paris a few days ago. So yeah, that's so it's pretty busy. Then. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> it's been so much traveling. Yeah. It's crazy, but uh -huh. I love it. It's yeah. very lucky. So have you been able to kind of sort of really appreciate the hype around um, Eurovision now and yeah. and the response from the the Latvian public? Because I know that you had a really good send off um, at the airport. Was it yesterday yeah. evening? And and, so and how fun. was that? How did that feel to to get that support from the people back in Latvia? I mean, it's 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 all I need really. I'm just to know the people there. Just I feel so flattered. I can't believe that they chose me to be a part of this. I'm so lucky, and to feel that support, like you got this girl, was really great. The um, one of the people there, the Latvian television, actually, they mm -hmm. gave me a teddy bear that says, "Someone in Latvia loves you very much," and I I love it. It was mm -hmm. like it makes you feel welcome, and it, it's I'm really um, flattered that they trust me with this, and I'm giving it 150 percent. Mm -hmm. so. Great. Um, so, um, with the rehearsal today, did everything go as, as you'd hoped? Are we likely to see any um, changes, or do you need to kind of sort of watch it back to see how it is on the screen? And well, we did because in the rehearsal, the the procedure is there is a monitor rehearsal, so you first regulate all the sound to make sure everything's fine with the background vocalists and stuff, and then you do an on stage rehearsal, and then we go to a mm -hmm. viewing room to see how everything's going. And so I've seen the, how the performance looks, and I'm just like, oh, it's good. So we adjust camera angles and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. to reevaluate my performance. So of course I see things that I didn't want to change mm -hmm. and things that I want to improve. There's mm -hmm. always room to, for, to, for improvement. So I'm really glad that we're getting to do this actually, so then mm -hmm. when we get to the semi-final, mm -hmm. we're gonna be so prepared. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so one final question, if okay. I may. Yeah. Um, so it will be revealed by our bubble. So mm -hmm. at ESC Bubble, we love bubbles. Um, okay. So we have a bubble with some questions. You know that so... bubble, bubbles is like the word that no one can say like sounding serious or angry. I know. Like, bubbles, like, you, you can't. We've got bubbles. Yes, okay. Uh, it's not the kind of bubbles that I normally enjoy, but, no, but we'll, we'll, have, cool. we'll have some of those later, shall we? Okay. I'm so afraid of this. So what is this question going to be? What have we got? If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you be and why? Oh, a lion, for sure. A lion has always been my spirit animal. Maybe because of the hair and the mane, I don't know. I love The Lion King. That movie has been mm -hmm. like a favorite to me since I was a kid. And I identify it's top of the food chain, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I like how fearless it is. I like that the female lion's the one that hunts. There's mm -hmm. so, so like girl power there. And yeah, I just love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful animal. So fantastic. Awesome. So Laura, thank you so much for taking the time uh, out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Thank um, you. We um, really enjoyed your performance today, and uh, we're looking forward to your second rehearsal. And uh, yeah, thank let's uh, let's see how we go with Latvia this year. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.